This episode could have been so much better. But I still really, really enjoyed it. Hello and welcome to the season finale of The World God Only Knows Goddesses. This was a very, very nice episode, despite the fact that it could have been so much better. Before I delve any further into that, I will want to supremely point out the spoiler tag I'm putting up here, the little Persona spoiler tag that I have in all these videos. I really want you guys to note that because this is the season finale. And unless you have a premium Crunchyroll account or other ways to do it that aren't legit, You won't get this episode for probably a week. So yes, ye have been warned. Starting off, this is the big climax. You are, you know, they're opening up the final goddess, they're getting her out into the fight, and there's, the war happens. This big giant battle happens. It's too bad we didn't get to see much of the battle. What we did see was really freaking cool. But let's backtrack. This starts off with Katsuragi and Chihiro chasing, going to where Ayumi was going to meet Katsuragi to marry him. On the way, there's moments of tension between the two because uh, Vintage is everywhere searching for anybody having to do with the goddesses in any way, shape, or form. There's a moment where they are stuck together, hugging to keep silent and everything, and it's it's emotional tension. So, you know that they both kind of still have these little feelings for each other. He arrives to the place, which turns out to be the boat that's like right out in front of the giant island uh, where Vintage's main headquarters are, and they he pretty much goes through this goes through the normal bantering with Ayumi before they kiss. When they kiss, she turns into the goddess, and uh, Tenri's goddess comes flying in and gets her because right when she turns into the goddess, Vintage surrounds them. It's about this point where it could have been really freaking cool. Because as Chihiro and Katsuragi are pretty much just walking home, because let's be honest, Katsuragi's job is done. He can't do anything in this giant battle. So he he acknowledges that. He's like, what I was here to do is done, so I'm just, I'm just gonna go home. And as they're walking uh, to his place, because Chihiro forgot her guitar there, we see glimpses of all the battling that's going on. The battles between um, Hakwa and the scientist girl, who I people don't know the name of. If you know the name of her, please comment it, because I know somebody's gonna do it anyway. Well, we see glimpses of their fight. It looks like it's gonna be really cool, but then we immediately leave their fight, and we don't come back until the end of it. We see the goddesses attacking the island and releasing all the girls, and once the goddesses have released themselves, all of themselves, they all circle around, and they awaken the goddess and uh, canon. And then they're like, just shooting the demon eggs, and fighting giant demons and all that, and attacking the island itself. All the while, the Loose Souls team from Hell has arrived to fight Vintage. That was one of the cooler moments of this episode, is when you see... I'm gonna interrupt myself there. Um, I hadn't mentioned them that much throughout the series, but Katsuragi's uh, female teacher with the collar and everything that we've seen a few times in the past, she and this little girl have been popping up here and there, and it's obvious that they know about what's going on. However, they've only had, like, minor, minor, minor scenes in the entire season. Now, back to where I was. That little girl shows up, turns out she is one of the demons on the Loose Souls team. And all of a sudden, all these demons are just behind her, and they just go swarming into the demons from Vintage. And it's just, it's a huge fight. However, it's not as cool because we don't really get to see much of the action. It, it's just cutting from shots to shots, and then it goes back to Katsuragi and Chihiro. Which, I'm fine, I, we need to know what's going on between them after all of this. Chihiro kind of gets off this little vibe of inferiority because all these girls have pretty much these goddesses in them, and she's the only one who didn't. And it's good that we go back to them, it's just I would really, really have liked to see some of the action here. I mean. There have been moments of really good animation in this series as a whole, and I think they could have done some spectacular fighting scenes. What we saw was nice, it's just there wasn't enough of it. Anyway, after the whole fighting's done and all that, it goes to the festival the next day that uh, has been building up for the past like five episodes or so. You have these tender nice moments between Katsuragi and Chihiro, and I want them to be so happy! But by the end of 
this episode, neither of them are happy. Neither of them. You stick through the credits, which is the band performance, where it ends with both Katsuragi and Chihiro crying. Which, it put me in a bummer mood. And I gotta hand it to... Who's the company that makes this? I can't look it up right now, it'll take too much time. I have to hand it to them, though. I mentioned earlier that I don't like it when they pretentiously assume that they're going to immediately get a next season. Which is what they have pretty much done in both of the past seasons. They've ended it off on a wait until the next season uh, kind of episode. And I don't like that as much as I do like that. I don't like it because it's pretentious to think that you're instantly going to make that much money to make a next season. But I do like it because I like it when it has another season. Here, they did something really, really smart. They ended the episode in a way that didn't tell you whether or not another season is coming. In fact, from what I could see, I don't think there might be another season. There likely will, and it's a really popular show, hopefully there will be another season. But I don't know. The really smart thing they've done is they've made me really want another season in the last few seconds of this episode. After the credits and everything, it goes to an epilogue scene, and it shows that life has been has returned to normal. Uh, Hakko's been removed from the Loose Souls team for some reason. She won't tell us why. Uh, Elsie is back working at uh, the house and everything with um, Katsuragi's mom. And Katsuragi is up in his room with all the controllers around him and all the TVs, and Elsie's talking about how life has returned to normal, vintage members have all been captured, and that... Katsuragi himself has returned to normal, and she seems pretty happy about it. However, the last scene of this episode shows Katsuragi turning off all of the TVs, getting up, and walking outside while there is vague hints of the main theme from the very first episode, which is still my favorite theme of all of them. But there's vague, vague hints, it's clearly, it's, I'm pretty sure there's an or orchestra dedicated to this show's work. Uh, because the theme was done by the World God Only Knows uh, Orchestra or something something like that. Oratorio, uh, for all of you musical term people out there. And there's big hints of that song playing as he gets up and walks outside, which is something he wouldn't normally do. And in the concert area, it's obvious that he has feelings for Chihiro, which means what I, th what I like to think he's doing is he's getting up to go get her, because... That's what I want him to do. Now, whether or not that's what he's doing, whether or not we'll get another season to show any further into that, like how is he going to react, how is he going to act around the goddesses now? All the goddesses are kind of wooey over him and all that. Uh, Chihiro's obviously depressed. At the end of the song she's been singing, which is about remembering her first love, she starts crying on stage, and it's it's very depressing. I want these two to I want these two to be happy. I want everyone to be happy. And right now, there's no there's no happy. So yeah, this has been the third season of The World God Only Knows. This one is titled The World God Only Knows Goddesses. And thank you all for coming with me on this. It's been a really nice season. I really want them to do a fourth. Even though they didn't do the We're gonna do a fourth season episode, I would really enjoy it if they did. If anything, make like an OAV to wrap everything up. Just do something. Something to leave me, to get over this feeling of everyone needs to be happy, because you can't just leave it like this, guys. I'm gonna have to look up the manga if you guys leave it like this, and I don't have money. So yes, uh, not positive what I'm gonna be doing for Mini Impressions next. I've been looking over the fall lineup. Kill La Kill looks really cool. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you all next time on whatever show that may be. Peace.